Oh, so you have such a pretty face. <laughs> oh, thanks. Okay. You know, the one thing that's uh, frustrating about online tournaments is people who have noob com computers, like no can play, clearly taking a little while to load here. Um, but he's done, and we are in the game. Day two has officially begun. On Metalopolis, we have over here in the left part of the map the red Protoss. He is. Fisher, Team Liquid Fisher. 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 That's right. Down here, as the Green Zerg, going three and zero in his group last night. He is so good. No can play. No can play. All right, so um, Metalopolis here, very close uh, air to air map. Uh, when they start off in these two locations, you think we'll see any airplay right off the bat? Uh, I don't think we're gonna see any airplay, but I do think we're gonna see this Overlord getting a lot of fucking information, and it's just gonna be awesome. Already scouting out the Red Protoss, and I expect to see some uh, some early links, maybe. No, we're gonna have to see. Maybe an early expo, maybe a, you know an expo at the two minute, two thirty mark. Well, we're gonna have to see. Who knows? Meanwhile, the uh, probe for Fisher going around the wrong direction, and he will scout No Can Play's position last. He's on his way now. No Can Play throwing or Fisher throwing down a gateway, pretty standard. Still no gas. Looks like he's waiting on the minerals. There it goes. The gas is up. Um, we see No Can Play going for a fast expand. So uh, no cheese from the Zerg player so far. The Protoss does scout that out. Do you think he'll go for gate? You know, I just wanted to point out that I uh, called that expo at exactly the right time. That just shows how amazing I am there, Soul. That's what you asked, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you, you've got it, man. You've got it. Okay, okay. But uh, I, I'm not too sure. I think... Uh, I think you might see three gate robo, but uh, four gate would be a pretty solid build against uh, against this right now. He'd have he'd be able to mass units a little faster than the no, he's, Zerg player. And yeah, he's he's got he's going for the expand as well. He know he knows he's got a little bit of time. Meanwhile, Ooh, like no can play I like this play taking his extractor, slowing down any uh, quick gas that he may have wanted to get. Another fo uh, forge going up in the front of his base. He is starting to wall off the bottom part of his ramp. He, and this probe still gathering a lot of information down at No Camp Play's main and uh, natural. No Camp Play doesn't seem too bothered by it though. Yeah, No Camp Play is a it's a great player. He doesn't give a shit about that little pussy probe, and the uh, probe can just stay and hang out, you know, drink some Zergling tea, you know, whatever. It doesn't matter. He wants him to see it. Oh, there he goes in the Zergling. A little ups. <laughs> The Zerglings trying to chase him down, but they're not going to, uh, unless they get that speed upgrade. Oh! Oh! Will the pro make it? Two more Zerglings coming down a little late. Seems like No Can Play's macro is a little, little slow. A little slow to start. Not sure if he got a warm-up game in or not. And that Photon Cannon is going to finish up, and the pro makes it home safely. Very well done. It's Master Scout Pro. Meanwhile, No Can Play getting a lot of view of the map, taking the one of the Zelnaga watchtowers, and uh, just making sure he keeps tabs on everything that Fisher's doing right now. Fisher getting that expansion mind up. Meanwhile, No Can Play doing the same. It's very, very important for the Zerg player to stay uh, a base ahead of uh, Protoss or Terran. And right now, it looks like they're they're neck and neck. Some Zerglings coming in to try to harass this mineral line, but there are just too many photon cannons, and they are not going to get much damage done. No can play commenting on his own decision there. He said very very slow, and that's true. And here we go. Just as I was mentioning about the Zerg needing a base up on their opponent, no can play goes ahead and takes a third, while his Zerglings were distracting Fisher. I don't know, it looks like we're going to see a pretty nice macro game here, Beefcakes. What are you looking forward to? S 
seems like Beaten Cake's microphone <laughs> screwed up. I see him trying to talk, but I don't hear anything. So, I'll be flying solo until that noob figures out whatever's wrong with his computer. Um, I've got another... Yo, Corey hacked it because he wanted to commentate. Right? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yes. DPR Light, another great commentator. Uh, we might see him guest commentate. Uh, maybe a couple of these games this evening. I'm sure me and Bean Cakes will need to rest eventually, and um, he has a fantastic radio voice. You guys will get to hear some of DPR later on, I guarantee it. Meanwhile, No Can Play, getting a queen over to his third. Still not really droning up yet over here, so that base isn't doing too much. And well, we see some drones being built over there finally, and that's... Uh, it's going to give him a really good economic advantage. Neither of these players being super aggressive. Beaten Cakes, are you here? Are you able to make any comments on what you're seeing? Oh, yes, you're right there, Soul. Not, not of them being super aggressive. <laughs> uh, no, but he, uh, you know, no can do, you know, going to take off here on the economy in a little bit. He's going to find out how to do some blue collar crimes here. Just saturate his mineral lines pretty well, and, uh, as soon as we get that, you know, we have some roaches, you know, coming out here shortly. Uh, got the roach war. Lair's already up. Let's take a look at the production tab and look at some upgrades that are that are coming out for both players. Yeah. Uh, you guys just saw a handful of speedlings trying to harass, but not really getting anything done, not killing any probes, and not really getting any information, not able to even make it up into the main where we see a Stargate producing a, a Phoenix right now in a robo-facility down. I don't know, that Phoenix can do a lot. You get a couple of those Phoenixes out, and they can go around and uh, harass queens and, and other stuff like that, and it's really, really nice if you use them strategically, as, uh, as well as getting a lot of information on your enemy. We'll have to see what happens here. We do see a Hydra list up, though, so if no can play, pumps out a few Hydras, which uh, he's got two in the queue right now. We'll have to see if that makes a difference. Meanwhile, Phoenix poking in right now to that coin. Yep. One of the Phoenixes... We might take it out, though. Phoenix getting some info. Ooh, another one on the way. Just taking little pop shots. That Queen might be able to take that weakened Phoenix down, but they managed to escape just in time. And that's good. Covering that's... the shields. Not really doing much. Well, they got a lot of information there, and that's exactly what Fisher was looking to do. Um, we'll go ahead and look at Fisher's viewpoint right now. Fisher did see the third, so he is aware that the... Zerg have three bases, and uh, we'll have to see what his decision is. Looks like he's uh, going for a robotics facility. Looks like he's going to push out a little bit. Second Robo. We might see some uh, Colossus. Here we go. Fisher. Trying to put on a light contain, maybe. Well, no can play taking that fourth base as well. The gold looking base. very good for no can play. Fisher still unaware to that. Now they need to take that statue out. If they, they need to take that statue out if they're try, trying to win this game. And there we go. We have a push here from the Protoss players. So, oh, Speedling's getting blocked up. Very nice feet. Nice force Pushing field the forward. Hydra's back, taking out that Zep. Zerglings go down. And, I don't know if No Can Play can hold this off with what he has. He's gonna Those Hydra's show some very cool micro. Hydra's do well on They creep. push him back. The one thing that uh, No Can Play should do is spread spread that creep. Look at how slow those Hydras move off creep. They're just completely worthless. And um, he needs to start putting some creep tumors down if he wants to be any more aggressive than what he's been right now. The uh, the creep, very, very uh, small for a Zerg player who's trying to take that fourth gold base. Anyway, we'll see... Uh, we'll see how... <laughs> Fisher decides to respond here. A couple more gateways going down. We do see Thermal Lance being upgraded, so that means Colossus will come into play, and that'll do a ton of damage against this army that No Camp Play has right now. No sign of mutas for No Camp Play, so um, this this could be a very quick GG if he gets those Colossus up. We'll have to see. Thermal Lance uh, about... Uh, about halfway done. There we go. We see both Colossus queued up now. Meanwhile, No Can Play trying to see what Fisher has around the top part of the map. Not much, though. Just his natural. If he can hold this attack until those Colossus some get out. Lines. About it. S supply blocked. Fisher's supply blocked from the pylons being taken down. And 
It looks like no can play, just marching around the map, trying to contain him. The Colossus are up, Thermal Lance almost done, and once that gets finished, this is going to start going downhill for no can play very soon. Yeah. He's going to roast right through those Hydras and Roaches. With uh, properly placed force fields, that's going to be bad times for the Zerg player. I'm going to try to take out these Phoenixes, gathering some information. Oh, the Phoenix has turned around take and... Out one. Take out two. A little bit of Miss Micro there, just giving him two free kills. Oh, I'm not sure that was the right thing to do. Baneling Nest going down. Still no sign of uh, him being able to even make Mutas. There is a Spire up, but no Mutas being built. And here we Ooh, go. It's going to be a Baneling drop here. Those Hydras are going to get... Battle. No picked off. They're too slow without creep, and this is what I was talking about earlier. If Fisher continues to push, he can take all of those all of those hydras off. And but the banelings are coming to save the day. The overlords they're gonna get a drop at the man. Yep, the overlords are full with banelings, and let's see what happens. Meanwhile, Fisher taking out the gold expansion. He is gonna sack that. I'm not sure what these overlords are doing. Mm. They're gonna drop, try to drop right on top of this Protoss army. I don't know if Fisher sees it coming, and he doesn't. Here come the Baylings, doing some serious damage. Shit, burning ass. Not all killing over everybody. Not but killing it's not any of the Colossus, though. A couple of Corruptors up, and if Fisher isn't able to take those down, this could turn the tides of battle. Only two Colossus left. This is bad. Those this might are, be a GG, folks. Those are the le the last Corruptors, though, and uh, Fisher with two Colossus remaining. These Roaches coming in, a lot of knowing they have to take the Colossus the down. The both classes do go down, but it, it might, might be work out for. Them. I don't know. There's a lot More of zealots. roaches coming. Meanwhile, yeah, those zealots are going to get melted by this. Act. Two more colossus. Ooh, but look at the reinforcements coming. That oh, thermal lance bad. doing some this serious work. And uh, I think that's going to be GG. Burned. It's definitely GG. So unless he have some mutas, and we have 30 mutas. No, we really don't have 30 mutas, but that'd be <laughs> awesome. <laughs> His natural getting taken down, and there's nothing you can do as another stream of stalkers come in to the natural. The drone's trying to escape, and um, it is 120. Drones managed to slip out back door. It is 121 supply to 81 for no can play, and uh, I don't think there's anything he can do to save himself. Those colossus were game changers. He wasn't able to take them out soon enough, and Fisher doesn't see the spire or figures it's not a problem and he's probably right last couple roaches valiantly defending their hive and this is not looking good for no can play it looks like fisher will take game one colossus doing some work Colossus is just shitting hot fire all over everybody the roaches weren't even upgraded you know off their creep i think he lost 10 and, he, and no can play swears he made corruptors guys <laughs> and there it is. We'll see the GG here. See, there it is. GG! And that's it. Fisher takes game one. Well done. Excellent play there by these two. Very excited.